It was another rough Sunday at the bank. That's LaVisca Chenault made a man miss. Nice little move by LaVisca. Got it out past the 30, but the ball came out. You got to be kidding me. San Francisco's going to get the ball back after one play. Nothing went right from the opening whistle to the final snap. Going on fourth at the yard. Garoppolo fires into the end zone, and that's a touchdown, 49ers. Next up, a winnable game against the struggling Falcons. Looking to his left, Rosen intercepted, picked off. Van Noy still going to the 10, to the 5. He gets pushed from behind. Touchdown. We'll break it all down on a Thanksgiving edition of Jaguars All Access. Live from your official station of the Jacksonville Jaguars, this is Jaguars All Access. Brought to you by Fields Auto Group. Fields matters because you matter. I don't think it's all about creativity. I think it's uh, mostly about execution. That's something we've talked about a lot, and that's something that we've met about. Um, we just got to get better. Just do your job, and this offense can look much better. It is all about execution as the Jaguars work to get back in the win column with a home game this weekend against the Atlanta Falcons. Welcome into Jaguars All Access, presented by Fields Auto Group. Happy Thanksgiving Eve to everybody. Changing things up a little bit this week. Ashlyn Sullivan here with Jeff Longman. Brent Martineau on a much-earned vacation. And unfortunately, Shaquille Griffin in concussion protocol and cannot join us this week. But luckily, John Ozier from Jaguars.com is here to step in. And Jeff, I got some bad news. We got to talk about last week's game. It ain't well, pretty. Well, we have to, but I got to say something here. It's nice to have an upgrade finally on this show. Ain't that the Way truth. Way better than Martineau having Ashlyn <laughs> here beside me. It's got to be nice. Yeah, I'd say yeah. so. I'm excited. Yeah, even though we got to talk about the bad, let's, let's go ahead and do it. We got to do it. Let's focus on the good. Let's get into our Baptist Health game-changing moments. Oh, my gosh, this opening drive. 13 minutes long. Well, it's the longest drive, actually, if you go back to 1997 when there was a football team by the name of the Oilers, and they were in Tennessee at that time. That's how long ago it was. And the Jaguars were very fortunate, I think, because on the field goal try at the end of this drive, they had 10 men on the field, was ru rushing an 11th on the field. If the 49ers had snapped it, they could have caught the Jaguars offsides. But nonetheless, Two penalties helped that drive out for the 49ers. You had a hole on Rayshon Jenkins and an offsides on Smoot. Both of them third down opportunities that would have gotten them off the field. Mm -hmm. We continue our Baptist Health game changing moments after that 20 play drive. The last thing the offense can do is go three and out and certainly turn the ball over. Well, the first drive was a three and out and then the very first play of the second drive, all of a sudden LaVisca Chenault Jr. gets the ball punched out by one of the best at it in the business. Josh Norman, the defensive back, leads the league now with six forced fumbles and that hurt you know every time you, you keep a defense on the field for that long it's hard and the offense really needed to bail them out and they didn't and we continue our baptist health game changing moments going back to defense they really just didn't have an answer for these late game touchdowns jeff well debo samuel <laughs> what do you call him wide receiver <laughs> running back how about super athlete elite player and him and Ayuk, the wide receiver, had excellent days. Jimmy Garoppolo had a solid day. And obviously, when you have a running game, it's a little bit easier to have a really solid day. And a big reason why is that the 49ers carried the momentum that they had on Monday night against the Rams and carried it right into Jacksonville. Credit to the 49ers. They played really well. Yes, they did. We now bring in Jaguars.com senior writer John Ozier. We have the pleasure of speaking with him a lot of time throughout the week. And, John, we got to relive those highlights yet again tonight. Yeah, we really have the B team here today, first of all, because I'm here. Uh, you're getting back to the 49ers game, Jeff. I just kind of thought that was a game where a team that really knows its identity in the 49ers, they know their physical, they know how they want to play. Playing a team that right now in the Jaguars isn't there yet. Uh, I thought that was the story of the game. And early in the game, this defense has been playing better. The Jaguars defense has been playing better. But when your offense stays on the field for four plays and allows the opponent to be on the field for 34 during that time, I'm not sure how much a defense can do when it's worn down like that. Well, an offense, Ashland, continues to be a problem, right? Four games, 43 points. That's just not enough offense to win at the National Football League level. Right, and we talk about those offensive struggles and just not being able to get into the end zone. And stay off Twitter if you want to check out this guy, Trevor Lawrence, and all the woes about what's going on with his game. It really seems like, Jeff, he's not 
not playing that poorly, what is the man supposed to do with these offensive weapons? Well, uh, Urban talked about it this week, and, and he said to, um, to me and J.P. Shadrick said that, look, uh, they're going to do a full audit on the offense. And he also talked to the media and said that uh, they're going to end up doing something. They've got to find ways to be more creative as play callers. And so, John, that's not an easy thing to solve because here's the reality. Yes, they've scored 43 points in the last four games. 14 of those points weren't really quality scores at the end of the game in which they were meaningless. Well, unfortunately, they haven't scored an offensive touchdown trailing by less than 10 since the week before the bye. So when you're not scoring when the game is in doubt, then you're not really scoring. So they had a couple late against Indy that got him back in the game. You know, I'm not sure I know the answer. One problem right now is James Robinson is hurt, not running as well. There was a time early in the season where you felt like they could get some plotting drives, some extended drives, and maybe get eight or nine points a half. Right now, they're not doing that. It's hard to win that way. Yeah, what matters most about Trevor Lawrence is what the head coach thinks of him, and he really thinks he's not coming off that bad of a game. Well, Trevor actually, I thought he played better this week than he did against Indianapolis. You know, he played really well this week, and you look at me like I'm nuts, but he did. The guys around him didn't play as well, but he, he's growing up. He's, getting, he's already been a tough guy, and we got the right quarterback. Yes, they do. They have the right quarterback. You know that much. And, Jeff, you look at this offense, and you hate to point the finger out, okay, who can do better? What can someone do? But you look at these wide receivers, especially the LaVisca Chanel, and say, yeah, you got to help the rookie quarterback. Well, and it doesn't help that all of a sudden you got Jamal Agnew now on injured reserve, so now you're losing weapons. But the one thing I do know is that when you struggle as an offense, you got to go back to your core. Mm -hmm. And the core of this offense with a young quarterback at the beginning of the season, they knew it. Veteran offensive line, that's why they brought everybody back in James Robinson. So you've got to find a way to get back to that. Now, can you do that with James Robinson? I think that's a big question mark because James Robinson over the last two games has carried the ball for an average of about 3.58. If you you go back and you look at earlier in the season, he was carrying the ball at a much better pace, about 5.6 yards per carry. Yes, John, go ahead. Yeah, there's no question to me. He does not look like the same guy before the injury because he's not the same guy as he was before the injury. Mm -hmm. um, when he was healthy, it felt to me like he was getting them into, on at least a few series a half, some manageable down and distance. That helped Trevor Lawrence in the passing game, even though, even though there weren't the deep threats. Now you've got the double whammy of him not being right. The receiver core is even more depleted than it has been. You're without Chark and Agnew. Everything to me right now, Jeff, feels so compressed on offense There's, or on defense because defenses right now don't respect their ability to go downfield. To me, it feels like this team is operating in the red zone on every series because of that. And we all know how hard it is on young quarterbacks in the red zone. Mm -hmm. Well, in the defense, Ashlyn, you would expect to maybe, hey, let's bail them out a little bit. But right. they weren't able to do that against the 49ers. The 49ers scored on the first five possessions of the ball game. Yikes. I mean, that's, that's just, you know, that you can't allow that to happen. And I give credit to the 49ers because they, they do have some really elite players on offense at the tight end position with Kittle and then obviously with Debo Samuel. But one guy on defense has been playing lights out, I think, and that's Josh Allen. I mean, he just continues to get better week in and week out. And if you look at him in the stat column, he nearly covers every category in the stat column, whether it's tackles, sacks, cost fumbles, recovered fumbles, interceptions, pressures, tackle for losses. He's got a mark in every category that there is defensively, John. Well, I'm excited for Josh Allen because of this. I don't know that he has a high-end guy next to him right now. I think Smoot is playing very, very well, Dwayne Smoot. But he doesn't really have anybody that scares defenses on the other side of him. As well as he's playing, he's the focal point. That's big-time stuff when you can make impact plays. Jeff knows that. If they get a couple of pieces around him, you know, I said when they drafted him, they hoped he would be their Von Miller. He's a little bit of a different player than Von Miller. He's a little more versatile, if anything. He can be a big-time all-pro franchise guy on defense. Most teams don't have both, meaning a franchise quarterback and a franchise defensive guy. That's a good start for this Jaguars team right now. It absolutely is. The Jaguars have a lot of work to do to get back into the win column, including getting that defense back up to par. Jeff Lagerman takes us into the film room to tell us more about that next. Stay with us on Jaguars All Access. Happy Thanksgiving Eve. We're live here from String Sports Brewery, live on Fox 30. Stay with us. Hello. 
I'm Dan Fields. This is one sale you don't want to miss. It's Fields' 50th anniversary holiday sales event. It's going on now at Jaguar Jacksonville and Land Rover Jacksonville. Fields has brand new inventory arriving daily. If we don't have what you're looking for in stock, use our hassle-free concierge service to reserve the exact car you want. And at Fields, you'll never pay a premium or extra fees. Visit us during Fields' 50th anniversary holiday sales event for offers like this. Get a $2,000 customer order incentive on select 2022 Jaguars and Land Rovers. It's a place where time slows down. It's where our heroes return. And it's where the heart is. Dreamfinders Homes. Homes built to fit your lifestyle. take all of us. If you have questions about the vaccines, Florida Blue nurses are standing by for your call. Florida Blue, your local Blue Cross Blue Shield, here for the one place we call home. Veterans, you may have earned a variety of VA benefits. Did you know VA can help you further your education and pursue professional training? The Home Loan Guarantee Program can help you buy, repair, or adapt a home. VA provides housing support if you find yourself homeless or at risk of homelessness. And don't forget world-class health care. Learn more about these and other VA benefits. Visit choose.va.gov. New Horizons call for renewed vision, enhanced clarity, an unparalleled willingness to block out the noise and distractions around you and simply focus on achieving greatness. Because getting one step closer to defying everybody's expectations isn't just about waiting for a window of opportunity. It's about creating it for yourself. It's about being a game changer both on and off the field. And when we say we're all about renewal and achievement in Jacksonville, we mean it. And that's why Renewal by Anderson is partnered as the official window and door replacement company of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Jaguars All Access is brought to you by Fields Auto Group, including Land Rover Jacksonville. Step up to luxury at FieldsAuto.com. Baptist Health, changing health care for good. Fanatics, officially licensed everything. And TIAA Bank, created to serve, built to perform. It's hard enough to, to have to beat your opponent. So the, the biggest thing I stressed with the defense uh, was, you know, we can't beat ourselves. Jaguars could not catch a break with the penalties last week against the 49ers. Eight penalties for over 50 yards. Got to get that cleaned up this week against the Atlanta Falcons at home. Welcome back, Jaguars All Access, presented by Fields Auto Group. Happy Thanksgiving Eve. We're live here, Ashlyn Sullivan and Jeff Logaman, as well as John Ozier. It is time for the film room. We're looking at this defense who struggled last week, but something you can hang your hat on, Jeff, is their pressure in the quarterback. Well, they got a couple sacks, and the beauty of tonight is that it's kind of a Jaguars power hour. We have Jags wired coming up in a little bit, and we're going to take a look at a zone blitz during that television show. But right now, we're going to teach you exactly what a man blitz is all about and show you the power of Roy Robertson Harris. Dropping the throw, and the Jags are going to sack him. Nice work by that Jaguar defensive front. Roy Robertson Harris got him. Welcome into the football lab, and we're going to learn about a man blitz in which the Jaguars ran against the 49ers, and Roy Robertson Harris got a sack on the play. Now, we have to start with the concept of a man blitz. Man means you have man coverage, and you're sending extra guys at the quarterback. That's what these dotted lines signify. It's man coverage on each of those guys. The only offensive weapon that I don't have a dotted line going to is the running back because with the blitz you're expecting the extra guys coming after the quarterback to eat up the running back and make him stay in in protection. If he were to come out well you might have to scramble a little bit but the 49ers actually picked this up pretty good because the tackle goes out to block the end guard gets the linebacker and then the running back gets the other linebacker the center blocks the tackle. This tackle blocks the end so now we have left Roy Robertson Harris who is looping around the other defense tackle and here's the guard waiting on him. 
But sometimes it's not a matter of scheme, it's about players. And Roy Robertson Harris takes this guard all the way back into the lap of the quarterback, Jimmy Garoppolo, and he gets a sack. So this is a perfect case of the scheme is fine, but it doesn't make a miracle happen. It's the player that makes it happen in a man blitz. Now let's take a look at the film and make it work in action and see the power of Roy Robertson Harris. And we're going to look at this from a tight angle. We know that we have man coverage all the way around the outside. We're going to focus in, though, on the court. Here comes the linebacker, Damian Wilson. The guard picks him up, and then the running back comes off on Miles Jack. So here we have Roy Robertson Harris moving around. You can see 60. The right guard picks him up. But look at the job that Roy Robertson Harris, that right arm, powers the guard back into the lap of Jimmy Garoppolo, and Big Roy gets his first career sack as a Jack. Roy Robertson Harris earlier in the season had an ankle and missed three games and since he's been back it took him a couple weeks to kind of find his groove but in the last three weeks he's been a dominant force and he's so powerful that this guy I think is going to be a really a somewhat of a long-term fixture for the Jaguars at that defensive tackle position. And I think we're only starting to see the tip of the iceberg of his talents. Yeah, you caught yourself asking, where is Roy Robertson Harris? And you're finally seeing his potential. So great to see that from him when we come back on Jaguars All Access, the Ozone Mailbag in real life. We go to the fans here on Jaguars All Access at String Sports Brewery. Stay with us on Fox 30. We'll be back. Introducing the new Defender. Just the thing for those little everyday trips. Good in heavy traffic. Perfect for catching up with the relatives. And dropping into the car wash en route. Giving someone a helping hand. Or beating the commute. And putting your feet up after a long day. All right, I'm done shopping. We're gonna buy that air fryer. Wait, are you sure you found the best price? I think so. Did you use a coupon code? Yeah, none of them worked. Okay, well, let me just log into my cash back thing. Oh, what's my password? Why don't you just use price.com? It scans thousands of websites to find the best price, automatically applies coupon codes, and you get cash back. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Price.com, maximize your savings. You have to plug it in. I think it's important to have clean water first and foremost because it's good for your health. I think we take water for granted. We need it for bathing, we need it for drinking, we need it for cooking our meals. I'm very health conscious, and I think everybody should be health conscious. If we can take it a step further, why wouldn't you do that for yourself and for your family? Now I can drink the water in the house. I've never done that in 20 years living here in Florida. If you're not filtering your water, you are the filter. Don't be the filter. about the higher prices, but some toys are now costing you three times the normal price. Oh, please don't pay those crazy prices. The three strategies that could save you some big bucks this holiday season. Tonight at 11 on Action News Jax. The mornings after a Jags game can be exciting or it can leave fans disappointed. See what went right and wrong on the Monday Morning Quarterback. Monday on Action News Jax this morning. Brought to you by your local Hyundai dealers. Get the Hyundai you've always wanted. It's your journey. Own it. Live from your official station of the Jacksonville Jaguars, this is Jaguars All Access. Brought to you by Fields Auto Group. Fields matters because you matter. Sounds from the sidelines. You can always check that stuff out on Jaguars.com. Home and away games. The crew is down there capturing awesome content, so be sure to check it out. 
Welcome back to Jaguars All Access presented by Fields Auto Group. We are live on Fox 30 at String Sports Brewery getting ready for an awesome Thanksgiving holiday tomorrow in a home game against the Falcons on Sunday. And John, we talked about this after the Bills game. We said we looked at this Falcons game. We said, all right, this is a winnable game. The Falcons are saying the same thing this week. Well, it's theoretically winnable, uh, but the Falcons were 4-4 four and four two weeks ago in the playoff hunt, and they've lost a couple in a row. The key for them, as always, is uh, Matt Ryan. He is in his 14th year. He's probably not quite what he was in his absolute prime, but he's still really dangerous. Cordero Patterson, who is a uh, Debo Samuel type of player, is also very dangerous. If those two guys are healthy, especially Cordero Patterson, they are a different kind of offense. This is not a... Uh, you know, it's not a 2-8 and eight team coming in here. It's a 4-8 and eight team that to me is very, very dangerous. The key is, can you get to Matt Ryan? This Jaguars pass rush has been very, very good lately. If it can be good on Sunday, they have a chance to disrupt Matt Ryan. And the reality is that you were talking about how you were looking at the schedule going, eh, there's a game that the Jaguars can get against the Falcons. What do you think the Falcons fans are saying right now? I know. The same exact (laughs) thing. Saying the same thing. You can't help it. And then you look at this matchup. Oh, this matchup against Kyle Pitts, tight end out of Florida. And we finally set the record straight that he, Jeff, is a wide receiver, kind of, sort of. Well, he, well, he's really, he's not a true tight end where he lines up on the end of the line of scrimmage and he blocks and he's really more of a flex tight end wide receiver. He's just a big guy that can run. He's super athletic. And he was the first non-quarterback drafted this past spring, John, and he really is an elite talent. Yeah, no tight end has ever been the first non-quarterback drafted. He went higher than any tight end ever has. Urban Meyer was interesting this week. He was asked, he loved Pitts coming out. Everybody did and was asked what's impressed him so far about Pitts in the NFL. And he smiled and said, yes, which means everything impresses. What's really impressive about Pitts, this is a position, Jeff, as you know, historically, rookies have a tough time coming in and making an impact at tight end. It's a complicated position. He's sort of throwing all that out the window and and is a major force for them. So uh, how do you stop him? I assume you try to bracket him. I assume you try to make plays on him. And I assume you assume that he's going to get his yards. Well, you you hope not because, like, the Patriots did a wonderful job on him and did some bracketing-type stuff on him and limited his opportunities in that ballgame. But one thing is for certain, you better not put a linebacker on him because if you do, you're going to regret it. All right, so where did Ashlyn go? Uh, I got nothing. Such a bad dad joke, and I knew it was coming. It is time for Fanatics Ask a Fan, and I have my guy Steve here who is ready for a real-life ozone mailbag. Hey, what do the Jaguars need to do to get their running game going with James Robinson not performing at 100%? I, I, th- I think it's a great question. And, John, I, I think the first foremost thing that you got to mention is get him healthy. Well, you got to get him healthy. And I wonder, it, it's hard to play doctor, especially with a heel, because it's not a really common injury uh, for running backs. But you've got to think, Jeff, that it's a brutal injury for running backs. Uh, there was a little bit of speculation earlier they might rest him this week. It doesn't sound like that's going to be the case. Uh, do you rest him, Jeff, for a week or so and get him back right? Uh, it's a hard question for me to answer because I don't know how he feels. But I do know that I don't really see an answer for getting the running game back to where it was with James without him. Because to me, he's a special guy. His missability makes him special. His ability to cut in the hole makes him special. There's not a replacement for him in, on this roster. And frankly, there's not a replacement for him on very many NFL rosters. I think he's one of the best 10 running backs in the league. It's hard to be special when you got a bad wheel, Ashlyn. That's the old you know, football terminology for feet. Yes, it is. We'd love to see James Robinson get healthy and rest up. We'll talk much more about that here on Jaguars All Access. Coming up, some G-Series headlines. Stay with us live right here on Fox 30. Hello, I'm Dan Fields. This is one sale you don't want to miss. It's Fields 50th Anniversary Holiday Sales Event. It's going on now at Jaguar Jacksonville and Land Rover Jacksonville. Fields has brand new inventory arriving daily. If we don't have what you're looking for in stock, use our hassle-free concierge service to reserve the exact car you want. And at Fields, you'll never pay a premium or extra fees. Visit us during Fields 50th Anniversary Holiday Sales Event for offers like this. Get a $2,000 customer order incentive on select 2022 Jaguars and Land Rovers. You don't think it's going to happen to you. You know, you see it all around you, but you always exempt yourself from cancer. 
he presented with a big lump under his left arm that was an advanced stage of malignant melanoma. It was exciting to know that there was new treatment out there that they're having success with. Here at Baptist MD Anderson, they're offering the community an option it wasn't here before. Cancer's gone. I got a second chance. And I'm very thankful for that. Jaguars fans, gear up at Fanatics.com the world's largest collection of officially licensed fan gear with all the latest Jag styles, unique designs by Fanatics, and team jerseys for all your favorite players, plus 100% authentic autograph collectibles and much more. Shop now and get today's special offer. Fanatics.com, officially licensed everything. There's never been a better time to be excited about what's possible, to see a clear path to success and put it into motion, to harness the potential, the passion, and the pride that drives you to be relentless in pursuit of your goals, on the field and off. Because with the right team by your side and your everyday money working hard, there's no limit to what's possible. Jacksonville Jaguars fans, Thrive Fantasy has partnered with your Jags to provide daily fantasy player prop contests throughout the season. Choose overs or unders on your favorite Jags athletes, watch your picks update live, and rack up points for a chance to win exclusive Jaguars prizes and experiences. Enter promo code JAGUARS upon sign up for a free $5 credit. Come and prop up today. From your official station of the Jacksonville Jaguars, this is Jaguars All Access. Brought to you by Fields Auto Group. Fields matters because you matter. Jaguars, Jaguars All Access presented by Fields Auto Group live on Fox 30. A bit of the injury bug here on G's headlines. Uh, you look at Shaquille Griffin, our guy, concussion protocol, Tyson Campbell. Jeff, do you really want to see some of these guys back? Well, the good thing is is that you have a practice squad that you can elevate guys up for game day now, so it takes a little bit of the pressure off of a coaching staff, but not much because the talent level obviously drops off. And then, John, you would love to get Brandon Leonard and James O'Shaughnessy ready to go this week. Well, it feels like they're close. They're a better team with both of those guys, certainly with Lender. I'm fascinated to see how they are with two tight ends in the passing offense. O'Shaughnessy gives them that if he gets back. Absolutely, and do not forget this home game against the Falcons is salute to service. The Jaguars giving out over 6,500 tickets to active military for this game, so stay with them and come to this home game against the Falcons on Sunday. Thank you to all that serve. We hope you have a great Thanksgiving holiday. Thank you for tuning in to Jaguars All Access. We will see you right back here next week. Jacksonville Jaguars. Thanks for watching Jaguars All Access. Brought to you by Fields Auto Group. Fields matters because